Hi everyone, welcome back to Infinity Wealth. So today in our HMO series, I'm going to be talking about student HMOs. So we own a number of student HMOs in the area and what I'm going to do is this property we've just purchased. So I'm going to show you different stages because we've bought a lot of properties in this area. So come and follow me through what to expect in a typical student area. So this is, uh, it's a four bed HMO. So you can see uh, what, what its standard is like basically. Yeah. So if you follow me through this way, um, now with this particular property, we did have a problem with the mortgage. The main problem was the mortgage was rejected uh, because of the damp issues. So we've, we acquired a number of properties from the same landlord. Uh, so we've already uh, done the refurb and it was a basic refurb. So I'll show you the different advantages of doing different things. So sometimes you're better off actually um, if it's if it's in a reasonable state to keep it in that reasonable state but to just improve it just freshen it so i'll show you one that we've freshened already so you can see it it's a mirror image or a carbon copy of this house as it was before so you'll see the difference then i'll show you another one which we are refurbing now and then at the end i'll show you another one which the students are in so hopefully uh they'll allow me in there but come and come and have a look so okay so you can see the damp issue there and if you look around uh so sometimes often you can see that there's a damp issue here and the woodwork is going yep now and you can see the damp damp in this area here as well okay so looking at the wall in the kitchen as well uh there's damp there now there are it's, it's an easy fix sometimes how it can happen is that they've plastered all the way down to the ground so what happens is that the damp is rising within the plaster when you're doing plastering you should always never plaster it always to the ground plaster it about here up to here so that way you're above the damp course okay the other way to tackle this is to put a damp course injection in now if the house was really damp this is not a house that's specifically very very damp but we've identified that this could probably be the fact that the plaster was plastered all the way down to the bottom if you did have a big damp damp course problem what you would normally do is you would hack back up to a meter so your builder would hack back to a meter and then do a damp course injection throughout the whole property now there's various ways of doing damp course injections which we will cover more in some of the advanced programs so come and have a look so you you'll notice this kitchen is going to be same as the one that we've already freshened up okay so this one has got a, a, a new boiler bathroom Okay, right, just follow me. You can see some of the stuff just still being removed. Right, so, a bit dark in that. <laughs> okay, so there are different regulations which we will cover in the advanced course, but I will also talk, talk through with you. Often you've seen that the landing comes through the living area rather than being on the side. Often when you've got a student HMO, this is a four bed student HMO. So it doesn't necessarily in this particular area, it does not require fire doors. In other areas, they do require fire doors. We like putting in fire doors into our properties. The other thing that you have to be aware of is when you've got a, a staircase going through a communal area and next to a kitchen, because it's also a fire hazard, you have to put fire windows in. So a fire window is one that has an escape at the bottom. So you have to open that. So in this particular one, we will have to change that window. What we'll do is we'll freshen the whole property up, change the doors to fire doors. So you can see the current state. You can see what we'll do because I'll show you the end product next door. Okay, so just follow me through. So it's a four bedroom, four bedroom HMO. Again, the wallpaper is peeling. Uh, this is one of the other rooms as well. Yep. 
Yep. Now, this box room, often you, what you find in these old terraced houses is the box room is always the smallest room. So in London, often it's the front room at the house. Uh, that is the box room at the three, uh, three bed terrace. Uh, but in this particular area, in a lot of areas up north, it's normally the rear room. The, the big room is at the front of the house. Okay, so we've measured with the regulations now, HMO regulations, whether it's professional or student, there is a minimum room size required, which is six, six and a half square meters. The other thing is we do change them, even though it's not required, we do change the doors to fire doors. Now, when you do a fire door, there's a number of ways doing it, but often you have to take out the frame and put in a fire frame as well, okay? So you've seen this property. What I'm now gonna do is take you to the next one, which is identical to So this is the property that we have just freshened up. So it gives you an idea. You've just seen the property which we've purchased already. Uh, we haven't done the work to it. So this is what we're expecting the other one to look like. So follow me through. So with this particular one, we had a, a problem with the flooring. So you can see, this is our look. So we put fire doors in. Now, what we have done, and you'll see the difference between the different properties. So with this one, we'd use the furniture that we already had from one of the other properties in this particular property, okay? So just follow me. So as you'll see, it's the same kitchen that we'd used before. What we have done is painted the whole house so you can see the different feel. Yeah. So kitchen, again, we've had it cleaned, or it needs another clean, I think. Um, two fridges and the bathroom is through there. Now, what I'd like to point out is that on a lot of the courses that you go on, and I've seen it, I'll tell you real world experience, not coursework experience, because that's where we come from at Infinity Wealth. What we want to do is we are real. We want to show you the stuff that we're doing from real hands-on experience. One of the things that you often find is, especially on social media, these guys, I will show you one that's fully refurb, which we took back to brick. Um, but there are different avenues. You must always consider the numbers. We always talk about numbers at Infinity Wealth. One of the things is that you can still get a high ROI or a decent return if you freshen up properties. So this particular one, it was in decent condition. It just needed freshening up, but you can also go back to brick and I'll show you the chalk and cheese difference onto a high spec one and a one that is of a reasonable. Most people just want a clean house, especially in the student market. Now, there's different, different strategies in different areas. So we will cover that again in the advanced courses, but it just gives you an idea. So if you just wanna carry on following me, I'll show you upstairs. So we've already rented uh, this house out. So you'll see it's identical to the other house. Yep. Okay, so we've changed the carpet. We've painted the hot room. You can see the difference it will make. Now, obviously we've kept the other furniture because we've, we've been refurbing. So rather than just throwing it away, we've taken less of a rent, which is fine. Uh, that's what's important to us. So we've taken less rent, that's fine. It's rented out. Um, there is a difference, so we're, for this house, compared to the one that's completely refurbished, so I'll show you one that is half, not halfway, almost finished, and I'll show you the finished product as well. So this one, we're not gonna do that too. Maybe next year, we will change the kitchen and the bathroom, okay? One of the other bedrooms. Sorry, it's a bit dark, uh, but it's getting the light ready, okay? Again, fire doors have been fitted. Now, I'll talk about fire doors in more detail. This bed is gonna to go to one of the other houses because it's a, a big double. Uh, normally, we put in a small double, uh, especially into the box room. Remember I said, this is actually seven and a half square meters, so it meets regulation. 
We've got on a fire door, you must also have an overhead lock, uh, closer, self closure, which we've done, and strips which haven't been put into this house yet, but I will be speaking to the builder. Okay. Okay, so as I said, so this is our other project as well. We've got a number going on. So this is halfway through, well, almost finished. So come and have a look. So with this particular one, uh, we did more than the other house. So what we are doing, as you see, we put in spotlights. Um, we are, we have, on this one, we have done a damp course injection as well. Uh, because it was a, a little bit more damp, uh, so you can see that. Yeah, fire doors put in. We normally hang a, a TV on the wall, uh, and you'll see that in the finished ones that I'll show you in a minute. Uh, so you'll, you'll you'll see that. Okay. So. We do a fully tiled bathroom, uh, and you'll see that uh, in the completed house shortly. So we're just desperately at the moment trying to get it sorted. Uh, like I say, this is our student uh, HMO section. So right now, all the students are moving back into the area, so we're under pressure to get all the work done. Yeah? Okay. No, no, I'm just... Okay, so... You still recording? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, so what we did on this particular one is the roof line was a, a lot sh shallower. So to create a, sp uh, a feeling of more space in the bathroom, what we've done is we've lifted the roof. So we've lifted it two courses or four, uh, actually three courses. Yeah. Okay. Can I come in the bathroom? Yeah. Just have a look. I won't go in the bathroom because Jake's working. So you can see, I'll show you the finished product uh, in one of the other houses. Okay. So this is the look that we go in all our houses. We, we take to standard. So these are the ones that we do a lot more work to, uh, unlike the other one where it was just finishing off. Okay. So, we've got the carpets going down. Uh, you'll see the sort of furniture pack uh, and in our advanced courses as well, we'll tell you, you know, where to get the best deals from as well. Uh, that I have, because I have so many projects on the go, I do get discounts from a, a lot of the wholesalers. You know, a lot of people have said, well, how do I part buy a kitchen? They mainly rely on the builder to supply that part. Uh, with me, I don't tend to do that because I like my own particular look. So I've got accounts with Howdens, I've had accounts with Magnet, I've still got accounts with Magnet. Uh, and we also have got a, a local account with a, a boiler shop as well. So just to show you, again, this is a four bed. One of the other bedrooms where carpets have been fitted. Okay, so unlike the other one that I showed you, uh, this one was a higher level refurb. We didn't take this one back to the brick. Uh, there was a lot of damp issues in, in this house, so we sorted that out. But I'll also take you to one that's finished, uh, where the students have moved in already. Um, and I can take you to a few more as well that were already finished, just to give you an idea. So the next one we'll visit is a four bed, which we completely gutted. So that went back to brick, uh, and I'll discuss more of that in that house. This is a five bed. We've got two next to each other. Um, it's fully licensed HMO, so come in. This was completed some three years ago. Okay, so come in and I'll show you. This was a two bedroom terraced house, uh, which we converted into a five bed with three bathrooms, two en suites. So let me just show you around the house. So you can see uh, completed product. Okay. 
Again, you'll see the similar look. I'll take you to one of the four beds as well that we've got. This is the look, this is our look. Um, and we try to differentiate ourselves from everyone else in the area. Okay, so kitchen, uh, hold on, lights there. So you see the standard tiles format, um, the fridge, the utility room. This section, uh, what we've done is we did an extension um, and we've got a, an ensuite bathroom. So you can see, you know, the different specs that we do. We like, one thing that we like doing is, you know, there's always a client for something, uh, especially in property. So not everyone can necessarily afford to pay the higher end. So we take a view, like I've shown you the other two, so we feel that it will be good to have that balance of very high end and then medium, medium end, okay? So I will take you to the four bed as well. Like I say, fully licensed. We have to provide a fire blanket, the smoke detectors, fire doors uh, with self-closing uh, in all the rooms, basically. Yep. Right, so the students are here at the moment. I have asked their permission uh, that I can video, so I'll just show you it. Thank you. So this is a, a bathroom uh, and what we did was we borrowed from this room uh, to create. There was, this is where the room finished, uh, there was a cupboard. So what we did is borrowed from that section, expanded it out to create a, a, a bathroom upstairs. Yep. Okay, uh, that's the normal size room. I don't think anyone's in that one, so, okay. So this is the smallest room in the house. Yep. Now there is someone, I think, in the other room. Uh, I will try and knock. What's that? Can I go in there? Yeah, thank you. So uh, this is the biggest room in the house, again, with an ensuite. Uh, the students are just moving in. This is the time of year that, so it's probably the busiest time for me uh, in the year. Uh, uh, running between all the different regions. Okay, so just gives you an idea, creating an ensuite in there as well. Yep. Now what I'll do is I'll take you to, have you still recording then? Yeah. yeah. I'll take you to the four bed that we've done. Uh, we've still done it as HMO standards, uh, but again, you'll see the difference in, in the houses. This is our four bed. Um, but again, this was taken back to bricks to so come in. You can see the standard. It's our standard format. Uh, this house was completely taken back to brick, as was our five bed HMO. Um, so what we've done is we've insulated all the rooms. The students are back actually. So um, have a quick look so you can see. Okay, so again, we do an open plan kitchen in this one, sorry fell over. Uh, open plan kitchen, uh, fridge freezer. So you can see the standard. Uh, we always put a TV on top. So we get obviously more money for this house uh, than the other houses, okay? So if you follow me upstairs, uh, this house has uh, an ensuite as well. So to show you. Hello. So what we've done in this house is, I just need to do this bathroom. Okay, so this is the main bathroom, have a look. Gives you the standard that we do it to. Uh, this is the other student room as well. So we've borrowed, this used to be the big front room. So we borrowed out the front room to create uh, a family bathroom. And in this one, hello. Luckily no one's in. Uh, so in this one, we have produced an ensuite, so I'll just show you the ensuite, so you can see it where it's clean. Now, one of the things that we have noticed uh, is that there is a leak, and I want to give you guys a tip, because that's what we're all about. Okay, when you do a shower, you should never do this, but unfortunately, because we were in a time frame, the builder who did this did it incorrectly. You never have a part tile at the bottom. The reason why is you always do a full tile all the way down. 
that's one thing. So you can see that that tile's popping out up there. So I'm going to now grout it and mastic that area. Also, what we tend to do is in these showers, we always mastic all the way down. Okay, that stops any water. So I'm here to do that. And maybe Kiki can take a video of that because I am a proactive landlord. So that's that. I hope you've uh, taken that tip on board. Um, okay, so you're right. Yeah. And this is the smaller room. But again, it's still the same size. So it's still above. Um, uh, this is, I think, is 8.8. 8.5 meters now so that that just gives you an idea now we did have an issue with this one because they'd been smoking marijuana this is but you can see the standards that we do it for so it's not just a very high standard what we do is we understand the market I think it's more important um, the more that you engage with us the more you will learn and it is really an ongoing mentorship almost um, so the more you will learn. So I hope you've enjoyed. The, these, this just shows you our student properties. We've got other student or properties in other areas, but I've just come to this area because uh, I have the building work going on and other projects. I also have it in my uh, previous area as well. Maybe we'll show you that. Now those properties are over seven years old. So over time, our look has always changed. Uh, and we, we tend to stay with a, a nice format. And I'll also show you in the professional uh, range, I'll show you that you don't necessarily need to do it to a really high standard. And this is where the, the problem lies. People, there is always someone for a certain price. That is business, that's always been business. And the fact that I've been in business a, a long time, I understand that. So there's always a market for something. You may not necessarily get that price uh, that you want, but you'll still get the rate of return, which is more important than anything else. So hopefully in this series, I'll be doing a professional HMO uh, with you and showing you my professional HMO, again, which was ref refurbished seven years ago. Um, and then I'll take you to another area where, where it's quite close to the hospital. That's a professional HMO, refurbished seven years ago. So you'll see that, but we still rent out the rooms. Now, in those particular areas, what you need to be aware of is there is more and more HMOs coming on. So there is a saturation point, right? So that's something that you'll be, have to be aware of. And you have to sometimes manage your overall costs to keep them down so you can make the rooms more affordable mistake some people are making is like I say there's always a room for someone but not everyone can afford 575 pounds or 550 pounds so there'll be someone who wants to pay 400 pounds or 350 so it doesn't have to be a high caliber and this is where we organize our portfolio so we've got some in this section some in that section so we can try and cater to the market okay hope you've enjoyed it so this has been our student HMO area um, we have three other areas like this um, but it just gives you an idea okay so we'll see you on the next uh, next video about professional HMOs thank you